Well, good morning. And I've said that before, but I really mean morning this time. It's 5.36 and I'm crewing today. So this is gonna be really cool. I don't exactly know what's gonna happen. I just know that every day it's a 6.30 a.m. call. Patrick's gonna come out and we're going to hop on our bikes and bike over there and kind of see what's going on. So this is the Dawn Patrol. What the Dawn Patrol does is they are the first balloons to go up in the morning and they go up at different altitudes and they clock the wind speed and direction at the different levels of height. So that way they can pass that information down to the other pilots before they go out in the morning. Well, I came out here to crew, but now they asked me to just get a ton of video for their, uh, for them, for their own stuff. So I get to, do the best of everything, I guess. I'm Hector Coromines, my wife Terry, and we're from uh, San Antonio, Texas area. When I was stationed in Germany, I heard the sound, some weird sound. Came out, saw they were inflating balloons. So I took, I started taking pictures and videos, and one of the Germans came up to me and asked me, do you want to go for a ride? Well, sure, I climbed in the basket, and I probably went treetop height and, and then higher, but at the treetop, I go, oh, I've got to do this. And the rest of the flight was just, magical. So it was kind of love at first sight, so to speak. Uh, first flight, yeah, definitely. <laughs> love at first flight. Yeah. Everybody comes out willing to learn. They want to have fun. Balloons make it that way. Nobody brings their baggage or things they're dealing with in their life on the side. Nobody really brings that or, or personalities in that. They're willing to learn and listen and, and, and yeah, just understand ballooning. Yeah, they're happy to be up close. And, and what I like to see is that when people come out who's never been around balloon, never been to a fiesta before, geez, She's like extra excited. It's like maybe the first day of kindergarten. She's like, the, all the new kids and new. Uh, so she's like that. She that energy of hers just spills over into the crew. We have the balloon of the day today. It's that cow that's just right there. And it's really funny. They were just doing the national anthem. And as they were doing the national anthem was ending, the cow just started rising above all of the other ones. And I thought it was going to be like a USA flag balloon, but no, it, it was a cow. Okay, so what's going to happen is these first rows where their balloons are blowing up behind me, they're going to go off and then the rows kind of come backwards. And the one right before, uh, right next to us, we're going to go and then us. So there's an order in the way that they launch. All right, showtime. We're getting ready to go. That's pretty cool, huh? Shot inside. Oh yeah, look at that. Is it getting heavy? Yeah. <laughs> Not heavy, it's got a lot of power going up. This year there's over 500 balloons that are participating in the event. A lot of the international ones couldn't make it this year, but most of these are the USA. I want to say there's like 534 total balloons uh, with the special shape ones that are participating this year. We're about ready to get this thing fired up. Once these guys get going, they get like, it happens fast. It's a very coordinated effort. Okay, so next, what I'm doing today is I'm going with the chase crew. So we're gonna pack up everything here, we're gonna hop into the truck, and we gotta follow these guys because they need to be chased, rescued, because we don't know where they're gonna land. All right, we're the chase crew. 
And I said, if y'all saw me take Hector's phone, I send a text from his phone to mine through the app, and it lets me see um, arrow-wise. He's the blue arrow on the okay. bottom. We're the orange arrow on the top there. Yep. Residents are very angry all the time. <laughs> Chase to victory. The majority of them all parked at the RV park where we're at. About a mile, about a mile from the takeoff spot. Oh yeah, look at that. I, they, they hit the free beer sign. Yeah. Somebody book somebody the drive. Hey, you made it. You made it home. You made it home. <laughs> was, the straps. Was it fun? It was a blast. Something landed right at the escapers section here. So one of the rigs that were just right on the other side. There's that big free beer land here sign. They almost nailed it. Hector and I were dating and says, gosh, I would really like to do this one day. And I said, okay, well, life is short. Let's do it. We looked up uh, a local balloon ride company, brought us on board and taught us everything we know. Okay. The balloon fiesta is kind of like broken up into two sections, the morning section and the evening section. And each one requires a separate admission ticket. But right now I'm going to the evening session because they're going to do the night glow and fireworks. This is the cow that went up earlier this morning as the balloon of the day. They're getting ready to do the shape. All the balloons are starting to get pre-filled. The sun's getting ready to go down. We're getting to that golden hour. We got a, uh, I don't know what that is blowing up over there, a ladybug. There's a Tweety Bird. It's kind of hard to say right now, but I think the biggest one has got to be this little turtle dinosaur or something. It's just towering over all the other ones. We'll see what happens when it tilts up. This one here is kind of getting there too. That'll be a cool one when it goes up. Well, good morning, it's day two here at the Balloon Fiesta, and we're getting everything set up right behind me. As you can see, the balloon is uh, laid out. We're just getting ready to do the, uh, what they call the, the dry air with the fan or whatever, I forget what they call it, or the cool air, to get it inflated. And um, today I'm going up, so that'll be fun. So this morning, on the dawn patrol they send up all those balloons to try and check the winds and they're pretty much going in the exact opposite direction of what they were doing yesterday so now the winds are coming out of the south which means we're being blown north versus the other way uh the winds are coming the other way and we were being blown south so this here is the top of the balloon and as it's filling up with the cold air they're locking up the top so that way uh, it'll keep the air in all right we're getting ready to stand it up again Yeah, yeah. You lean this way. Okay, right, Hector. So we're gonna go past the river. We're gonna go down, and we're gonna try and dip the basket into the and dash. into the little river there, huh? Yep. The splash and dash. Mm -hmm. See how the things are going across one way or another. So I gotta do the timing right. You got this, though. We have faith. Oh, okay. <laughs> we only fly with the bus.
when I pull these black and green lines, it rotates. If you lift that air out of the side, there's vents on the side, it lets it, it just rotates it. Looks like we got the homeowner out too. Yeah. Touch three. Okay. I'm gonna pull the red line. You guys don't have to. Hold on. Okay. okay. Very good. Like so nice. Fun. Okay to be here. Thank you. What's Thank your, you. What's your address? We got you. I'm Are they here already? You're here. Oh wow. I, I thought she said we're right out front. Yeah. <laughs> we're not good. Two. Bye guys. Thank you. And what do you do? Hit the first one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Finished up the ride and now it's time to make a pit stop. Oh my gosh. You know you're with the right crew when you're drinking champagne and Dutch Brothers at 10 a.m. Well, it's our third day here. It's day eight of the Balloon Fiesta and it's a yellow flag caution today, which means they're probably not going to be flying just because the winds at the upper levels are, as they call, sporty. But they're doing a little thing that's called the candlestick where some of them are gonna set up the balloons just to, um, just to have them on display, but others are gonna do like what's going on behind me over here, which is just like watching, uh, lighting off the uh, fire in the thing by itself. So the winds weren't very cooperating today to let the balloons fly, so they're doing the static display. And from what I've heard, a lot of people really enjoy having the balloons on the ground because it gives them a chance to get more up close and personal with them, talk to the pilots. They have a little more interaction with everybody. So even though they can't fly, I think everyone's still having a good time here. After every flight, Hector does this little history of hot air ballooning and a prayer. And so to end this video today, I wanted to use his own words to tell you about this story and the prayer that comes along with it. So enjoy. And if you haven't done so already, please be sure to like and subscribe to Claim the Vision. And I will see you in the next video. Hector, it's your show. Take it away. In France, 1783, there was two brothers that owned a paper factory that we call the Montgolfier brothers. One day they were burning trash and they saw the paper floating up in the smoke. So they wondered that the black smoke that was coming up was causing that to rise. So they went and got a little paper bag, made a little paper bag, put it over that, and it went up and came back down. They go, oh, well maybe this is smoke. So at dinner one day, they were saying, well, wouldn't it would be cool to make something big enough to see if we can, if they can lift us up and fly? And they go, well, let's put some farm animals together. <laughs> so what they did is uh, they built something bigger. They put a sheep, a rooster, and a duck on the thing stoked up the fire in the middle and black smoke and it went up and maybe land 15 20 minutes later and that was great so again they were saying now we could try to fly they go the brother a little apprehensive about but the king heard about this this rumor about these brothers that want to fly so he called them to the palace and heard you want to do this and he said i'll tell you i'll commission you i'll give you all the funds you need to build a beautiful balloon and what we'll do is we'll give you a prisoner to do this flight if he survives we'll set him free if he doesn't survive, no loss. But one of the noblemen that was there, his name is Rozier, he said, no, it's, whether it's a, uh, successful or not, it's going to be the first flight and it's going to be famous, so I'm going to do it. I'll, I'll volunteer to do it. They met in the square, all, almost all of France was there to 
to see this happening. Benjamin Franklin happened to be present, so he came and saw that first launch. Took off, and they, they flew for about 30, 35 minutes, landed successfully, and that was the first flight. That's how this all became. Put a little prayer to it. So it goes like this. The wind has welcomed you with softness. The sun has blessed you with his warm hands. You have flown so high and so well that God has joined you in your laughter and set you gently back into the loving arms of Mother Mary. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers everyone. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> and then, okay.